Your Excellency, what a privilege and honor to see you, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's an absolute honor to be here. It's a cold morning, but the spirit of today is warm. So let's keep that with us in our hearts. I'm your moderator today. I'd like to take a few minutes to just invite our panelists, allow them to settle down. I'll give a little bit of context as to why we're having this critical conversation, and then we will have a few questions for them. We've been working with Beyond Zero for many years, and so that we are able to hear their perspective. This person that I would like to invite to join me here on stage is Dr. Stephen Jackson, Resident Coordinator, UN. We also have Dr. Ruth Marsha, Chief Executive Officer, National AIDS Control Council, Karibu Sana. Thank you for that warm applause. As Dr. Ruth Marsha makes her way to the stage, I'd like to invite Dr. Jack Olwoch Kelly, Acting CEO, Kenya Medical Training College. And then we also have Edna Talam Kimayo, CEO, Nursing um, Council of Kenya. Karibu Sana. And finally, Peggy Gruninger, Head of Rush Corporate Donations and Philanthropy, Thank you so much. Let's give her a round of applause as she makes her way to the stage. Thank you once again to our panelists. And this is really to hear different perspectives of delivery um, health, universal health coverage through primary health care. Dr. Jack Olwoch is the acting CEO for Kenya Medical Training College, um, collaborated with Beyond Zero you know, to offer training opportunities, which is incredible. And in what ways has KMTC's partnership with the Beyond Zero initiative contributed towards bridging the gap um, of human resources for health towards universal health coverage? Thank you, Janet, uh, Your Excellency the First Lady. Thank you for the opportunity to in, of inviting us to be here today. Uh, KMTC, that is Kenya Medical Training College, is a model institution in training health personnel in this country. KMTC today trains over 90% of the health personnel you'll find in any facility in Kenya. Uh, KMTC has really benefited through uh, the partnership with Beyond Zero. To date, KMTC has trained 1,200 um, ECN graduates through this program. And what is important is the bridging of gap in health personnel or workforce in arid and semi-arid areas in this country. We have 20 Asal counties. And one of the challenges that has always persisted in these areas is maternal, newborn, and child health challenges, access to care. And the partnership between KMTC and Beyond Zero has helped this nation bridge that gap. What we are talking about is up to now 1,200 trained. We have 124 on training because of Beyond Zero and Roche. And World Bank has also played a role in this, to this end. Um, out of these 1,200, 600 of them are now employed by uh, counties in arid and semi-arid areas in this country. Now, what is the impact of that? Number one is the aspect of primary health care in this country. We want to talk about sanitation, and this plays a big role because these health workers actually interact with the community. They participate in activities in the community. Janet, what we are talking about here is immunization, one of the major areas where we need to go to in order to prevent infection. What we are talking about here is infection prevention, education of the community. We are talking about access to health care. And what we're talking about here is mothers being able to visit dispensaries, at least four visits before they deliver. We are talking about delivery, skilled delivery in a healthcare facility. We are talking about after delivery, the immunization of these children, making sure that we do not have children dying before they reach the age of five. What we are talking about here is how human resources for health 
has improved because of partnership with Beyond Zero. And I want to thank the First Lady sincerely because we are beginning to see outcomes and a lot of impact of this program in terms of uh, healthcare services at primary healthcare level. Thank you. Thank you. What about your call to action? Thank you, Janet. My call to action is collaboration and partnership. Okay. To this end, Beyond Zero, Roche and the World Bank has contributed 1.113 billion towards training of enrolled community health nurses. And we are talking about 1,200 trained enrolled community nurses. But out of this, Janet, 600 have been employed by the counties where there is great need, that is Asal counties. There is a gap that must be filled. After training, we need to get these health workers to the ground, and counties play a very big role. We are in engagement and communication with the counties through the Ministry of Health, and I'm very glad our PS is here. She presided over our graduation yesterday, where we churned out 5,150 more health workers. But we must look for a way of employing these nurses. They must provide that service where it is greatly needed. We must find more funders to be able to take needy students through training. We have many needy students knocking at our doors, mm -hmm. requesting to be trained, but we do not have sufficient funds to do that. Most of these students come from very, very poor communities mm -hmm. where health care is needed most. But without the impetus and the initiative to fund training, mm -hmm. then it remains a pipe dream. So it is necessary to have partners who can work with us to be able to bridge this gap. We are actually asking to add more, 10 more uh, campuses to train this cadre of uh, specialty. But that cannot happen without partnerships, funding for training, uh, counties employing the people we've trained. But as KMTC, we want to say we are committed to quality and we will provide the best training that is suitable for primary health care on the ground. Thank you.